the uh, demise of the tobacco industry, really a lot of the farmers around here were left saying, well, what am I gonna plant now? And uh, having learned that the area has a lot of the soil and uh, temperature conditions uh, similar to Burgundy, France, uh, soon discovered that this was not only a good place to grow tobacco, but also a good place to grow grapevines. My name is Tom Sylvie. My wife and I, Josephine, uh, are the owners here of Roaring River Vineyards. All our wines are dry, semi-dry for the most part. The wine card is what we call the winter passport that allows the holder of the passport to have a free tasting for a very reasonable price. The winemaker for Roaring River is also a winery owner himself. Living in this house on Elkin Creek, Louis Gerislow makes and sells his own wines on site at Elkin Creek Vineyard. We make generally French and Italian, uh, some German, European styles, basically. Well, one of the wines I really like to feature is our Rosa, which is a Bordeaux style blend. And it really it captures the qualities of the Yakin Valley, which is one of the things I really like to communicate to visitors, particularly that the Yakin Valley as, an, as a viticulture area is most similar to areas of old world Europe, France, Italy, Spain. Our soil is a terra rosa type soil like they have in Tuscany where the name rosa comes from for this wine. And so this wine is an attempt to, to capture all those qualities that we have here in the Yakin Valley. Our vines don't know they're in North Carolina. Their feet are in Italy and they're growing in France. Two of the newer participants in the Surrey Winter Wine and Beer Passport are Shelton Vineyards and Hayes Gray Vineyards, both in Dobson. Shelton is the largest family-owned estate winery in North Carolina with a bright atrium-like tasting room, an upscale restaurant on property, and it's great for walking and enjoying. Shelton has won numerous awards for its wines since its founding in 1999. Hayes Gray is one of the more recent additions to the Edkin Valley wine scene. The name was chosen in honor of Hayes Gray, the color of all U.S. naval warships. Its owner is a Navy veteran. Like its name suggests, Slightly Askew offers a different take on Yadkin Valley wines. The long-standing winery ventures into the sweeter realm with wines such as Raspberry Zinfandel, Blackberry Merlot, Cranapple Chardonnay, and Banana Pineapple Viognier. Slightly Askew is an urban winery in downtown Elkin with an upscale four-bedroom vacation rental just steps from the winery's back door. To the far north reaches of Surrey County, near the Virginia border, this is Round Peak Vineyards. In the distance is Round Peak itself, and nearby Skull Camp Mountain, the name of the brewery that is owned by the same folks. I don't think any of the Surrey wineries would argue this is the most laid-back venue of them all. Yes, yes, yes. So we um, our uh, Mount Airy address, we're west of town. Um, we have uh, French and Italian varietals, and as well as Norton, we have an American grape as well. We have uh, dry wines, French and Italian varietal dries, as well as a lot of blends, uh, all the way to sweet, semi-dry all the way to sweet. Uh, we do have the brewery as well, um, with the brewery location itself is in Elkin. Our best-selling beer is definitely going to be Knuckle Dragger, our double IPA. Um, it's the one that we're most known for. Um, on the wine side, uh, Nebbiolo, we're one of two vineyards in the state that grow Nebbiolo and so that's a little unusual one. We also are very dog friendly. It's a good place. We're a little out of town, but it's a good place to come spend some time, bring a picnic, bring your dog, bring your kids, and come and hang out. The Yadkin Valley Winter Wine and Beer Passport runs from November 29th, 2019 through March 22nd, 2020. To purchase your passport, go to yadkinvalleync.com.